Hey everyone, welcome back. Hope you all are doing great. And today we'll be making some delicious and quick chocolate truffles. Let's get started. So for chocolate truffles, we require 100 grams of dark unsweetened chocolate. You can also take stevia sweetened chocolate. We also need 120 grams of chunky unsweetened almond butter. 60 grams of whey isolate protein. I have taken chocolate flavor. You can take any that you like. We also need 80 grams of creamy peanut butter. Again unsweetened. And 80 grams of cream cheese. Make sure that the cream cheese is cold. And any liquid sweetener of your choice. So let's get started. Now in a glass bowl, I have taken our chunky almond butter our peanut butter our cream cheese our whey isolate protein and I'm also going to add our sweetener I'm going to need around half a teaspoon of sweetener you can add as much as you like and now I'm going to give this a quick whisk You can see this is the mixture that you get it's a nice even smooth mixture without any lumps but it is also a little crumbly in texture but if you press it in you can see it it comes together this is the texture that you want in case if it's a little too soft to handle then put it in the fridge for around five minutes so that it hardens up now I'm going to roll tiny truffle balls out of it I'll just show you like this right and set it aside and this is how our truffle balls look now I have melted our dark chocolate in the microwave and now I'm going to dip these truffles in that melted chocolate this is our melted chocolate I'm just going to drop in our balls and with the help of a fork I'm going to coat them with the chocolate and then gently shake off the chocolate and then drop it on to a parchment lined tray gently I'm going to cover all the chocolates like that all our truffle balls like that and this is how our chocolate coated truffles look let them set it at room temperature for around 30 to 40 minutes and then put them in the fridge for around 15 minutes and this is how our chocolate truffles look enjoy if you have liked the recipe please give it a thumbs up and for more such recipes please subscribe to my channel and share the joy of cooking